All right, it's time. Arthur versus all demonic beasts. And of course, we're starting with the bird. I'm cracking out the blue shin for this run because we don't really have to use Megaldus, so I might as well run a full human team. And uh, Shin has not had the most mileage, I'll tell you that. Not the greatest release of all time. But at least he's gonna have some time to do something here for us. Uh, I would just assume that we will have... We, if there was an option here to auto, we could auto this fight. All floors with this team. Ascanor with his double hit plus Roxy's passive. You know, everyone here is a single target. Shin, even Shin should be able to uh, crit, right? Like, he he ha he gives himself crit damage. Crit chance. 84? Bro, what a terrible character. <laughs> But he is giving stuff to the allies, right? Like, what's Arthur looking like? 500 HP, not the most. 169, he doubles it on single target. Uh, it's fine. This is the one fight we're doing that we don't have a, a unit that is made specifically for it. All the other ones we... Oh, not Snake, huh? Snake, we will not have a unit specifically made for it because... Oh no, Snake is going to be terrible, isn't it? Damn. Uh, <laughs> I am not looking forward to Snake. I'm going to save the Arthur cards, why not? I am not looking forward to Snake. Because we are going to have... We're going to have to do it with... What, what are we even going to use? Okay, maybe Shin was not a good idea. Shin is just garbage. I... Damn. His AoEs are just actually horrendous. Yeah, taking an extra turn in this phase is just... <laughs> I dumped him because I was like, okay, he's bad, but at least he's gonna do enough damage. But... No. Uh, Arthur is gonna be taunting every single turn after, like, the first turn. Because in the first turn, we are guaranteed to get four ultimate gauge. We have four attacks, so it's an easy... Easy for ult gauge guaranteed right there. So with that, we're chilling. All right, we're getting, we're getting the taunt every single turn replenished. With that four turns we have. Oh, okay. I'm not even gonna bother combining the cards, because this is gonna be... No, I will. I will, just for the fun of it. Yeah, let's do this. But this is gonna bypass the defense. Mm -hmm. He didn't do damage cap. But that's fine. We have him we have Arthur of HP defense. I probably will make attack crit for him. But it's like Arthur Because his passive gives him extra damage based on the HP, I don't see why make attack gear for him. Unless it's for, like, you know, for me, I'm going to make it for a video. Like, I don't see why you would do it personally. Because uh, you're already getting a character that's going to be super tanky. He's meant to be tanking attacks. He, he, he has a taunt, you know? He has a built-in taunt with his passive. Like, he, there's no reason as to why you would give him attack gear, personally. You're just better off sticking to uh, HP, and HP is what people should have had for him anyways. Okay, thankfully, the other fights, we're gonna be forced to run different characters, so we're not gonna be uh, running this Shin again. I think for... Yeah, I'm gonna, have, I'm gonna actually see what I'm gonna be running for the, the deer. And Snake, I'm, I don't even know, I'm gonna have to... <laughs> I have to see. Snake is probably gonna be a really annoying one. Because we have very little characters that can actually withstand that boss. I, I definitely can run the one ultimate. I, I think the one ultimate, if we have a per perpetual taunt, like every single one, I, I think he's fine. But humans? Yuri. She has a stance removal. Oh, yeah, Yuri, Yuri can do it. 
Uh, I know we're we're, fi we're facing the bird right now, and I'm thinking about a different fight, but like this is bird. Like th this is a, a fight that has been power crapped over two years ago. Right? At this point, so it's not it's not the biggest deal. Fourth slot is gonna have to be LR Liz. Yeah, I don't see another option. Uh, there's no human that can help us. We're gonna have to do a non four. Four, uh, four stack of humans for that fight. It is what it is. That's fine. Arthur. <laughs> He's taunting every turn. He does big damage. Yeah, I I'm a big fan of this guy for PV. I had not even, like, slipped through my brain that Yuri could be a potential character because I just... Some characters are like, this is a PvP character, you know? <laughs> this is a PvP character. And Yuri is one of those characters where I just... That's how I think of her. But yeah, for sure, she's gonna be uh, huge for the snake. Could I even just not even run the one ultimate and run someone else? I don't know. We'll see when we get there. I'll, I'll stop thinking about it until then. I'm actually doing a lot more damage than I expected. I guess Roxy really is that girl. Roxy really is that girl. Because this phase... This phase of bird, you don't do much damage to him. Also, I've been talking about how, you know, it's annoying that Arthur only cleanses two debuffs when he... Like that, right? When he transforms, and not transforms, but you get what I mean. When he be gets the the buff, but yeah, if he full cleansed every turn, it might have been too OP. You know, <laughs> it might have been too much. So I can see why they chose not to go with that. Two debuffs is is pretty good. I guess I'll take it over. You know, potentially it had being only one debuff. Like Mally does. And Mally has no condition like Arthur. Right? Mally just does the cleanse with no Again, no condition. So it's definitely different. Like if Mally had true debuff cleanse. Yeah, that would, for free every single turn for no reason. Yeah, that would have been too much. But Arthur has at least a condition. It's a very easy condition, mind you, but it is a condition. Uh, I would like some Arthur cards so we can uh, pop him off here, but I guess so. Let me just do this. This fight is kind of a joke at this point. Like, our characters just do too much. Like, our team here doesn't even have the character that has a Holy Relic made for the fight, and we absolutely demolish it. But starting from Deer, we kind of do need to run the characters made for the fight. Would you consider Liz as a character made for... Wait, what's the thing? Oh, that. Okay. The snake fight. I guess. Right? I guess that is something that you could consider. Ah, uh, it doesn't kill, does it? It does, it does, it does. That second hit of rocks is too good. Too good. Time for deer. I was looking at what I could bring here, and of course I had to bring a red, blue, and a green character. Green's Arthur. So blue and red. Blue was an easy choice. Obviously we're bringing uh, Roxy. Red, though, was very barren. There, there's not much going on with red characters. Or sorry, red humans, right? We have Rudius, which is who I brought. But other than Rudius, the only other option I had was Reinhard. And I will be for real, had no uh, belief in Reinhard. Honestly, I mean, he could have worked here. If you, I don't know, I think if you consider blue, red, he's, he doesn't have damage cap here, right? so he's probably gonna die. I mean, if you consider the HP that 
um, Yorm is giving. I guess, I guess Reinhardt could have worked. Okay, I didn't even have true. He's a weirdest card here. I guess Reinhardt could have worked. Maybe I should have brought him. Because he has two single targets. But Rudius, he's not going to be, you know, too difficult to stack his attacks. He, he, he's going to be hitting much harder, too. So, like, I do this. And he should be hitting, like, extremely hard here. Although this is damage cap already, right? You know, watch out, bro, right hard. I, I, he has two single targets. That's the thing. Like, yeah, we, we did <laughs> debuff him here, which is whatever. Like, the, the later stages we can't debuff to begin with. But then, moreover, uh, debuffing is pointless. I guess you could make a point for Arthur because... He does. There's no damage cap here, right? I have no Roxy card. I hate this fight so much, dude. I hate this fight so much. <laughs> How can I still hate this fight? It's been so long. Oh my god. This kills, right? <laughs> I mean, I should have the cards wrong, right? Oh yeah, I should have, I should have done the uh, Rudius and then Arthur. It doesn't matter. What was I talking about? I, 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 I got filled with rage from the fact that I, I <laughs> couldn't do the fight properly because it just so happened that I didn't get a Roxy card. Oh no, I have to restart. I didn't, but if it was floor three, I could have been in much more trouble. <sighs> um... Don't recall. You know what? Doesn't. Oh, no, 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 Reinhardt. Reinhardt having two single targets means he can proc Roxy passive with both attacks. So, it's just... I'm not gonna restart now, because I can't be asked. But, yeah, I think Reinhardt would have been better. It's whatever, though. It, this fight is easy. It, it's like... The fight itself is easy. It's just... Uh, if the deer... Not even the deer. If the game decides... Mm, no card for the character you need, then... Oh well. Oh, yeah, I was gonna say, you can make a, a case for debuffing be being good for Arthur, because his single target does do double damage against debuffed enemies, but... I mean, it's only really in the first floor you can debuff. So it makes no difference. Ryan... Not, not Ryan Hard. Uh, Arthur should be doing, like, extremely well here once we have two stacks in his passive. I should I should take a look at his HP. But, unfortunately, like, yeah, we can give ourselves a bajillion stats, but it does not matter because the damage cap in this fight is so low. Because the boss, it, the boss himself has, or itself, should I gender the deer? <laughs> the, bo the boss itself doesn't have uh, that much HP, so the damage cap is very low. Only one stack of uh, Yorm, so 685. We're missing one human, so you know that, that could have been a little more stats, but uh, Yorm compensates for that. Alright, uh, uh, let's do green, blue, red, green. Thankfully, I think they, after Deer, realized that making extremely specific things for fights has been a terrible idea. And that's why we got a Demon King fight that does the exact same thing. Very cool. Very epic. Okay, it's not the exact same thing, but it's very... It is also a fight that, like, okay, you need to do a specific thing or you lose. They just will never learn. Okay, Arthur again only has one stack again because it was the last to attack, but it's fine. Last, last, uh, or next uh, thing we will actually not have. Oh, I, <laughs> I just kept attacking because I was like, oh, I'm gonna kill anyways. Yeah. No damage increase. Arthur just did two oh two. It doesn't matter. I'm not going to be able to get uh, a Yorm passive again anyway, so... Uh, how much is Arthur doing here? Dude, this is going to give all my 
uh, allies 20% stats, so I might as well do that. And I want to see Rudy is do an attack, he hasn't been able to. Uh, yeah, this will kill. Yeah, I should have done the Roxy attack third, but I wanted to finish with her. Didn't matter, because I... In my mind, I was like, I want to finish with the Roxy ult, but... Doesn't matter, because she would have done extra damage with her passive, so it would have actually killed. Okay, now we have two stacks, and we have his own passive, or sorry, his own uh, ult uh, buff as well, so now he has a million HP. Unfortunately, again, we, we're damage capped, so... Green, blue, red, green. We're not going to be able to see the extent of damage that he could possibly do here. Damage caps are just very unfortunate. I am glad that they did uh, remove damage capping from a difficult fight at the very least. Like The Demon King fight does not have a damage cap, which I think is great. All right, if you watch the last <laughs> Demonic Beast video, um, I will keep doing the exact same thing I did on that, that one. If we lose, because we just so happen to get very unlucky, I'm just gonna move on to dogs. I don't care about actually beating the fight to the point where I'll just reset from the beginning because I just so happened to get extremely unlucky and didn't get like a Roxy card or something. But with how tanky the team is, you know, with R for taunting and, you know, your we, even if we get extremely unlucky, we will still be fine. So it's, it's whatever. Let's waste these garbage, useless cards here from Yorm. See, Yorm is a phenomenal character for what she does, but like, she's always a character that I'm like, I wish I didn't have to run her because her cards are worthless. Absolutely worthless. They just, they're just there. The cards are just there. I wish I could run like the one ultimate here. I guess I could have. Should I have done that? No Yorm. I don't need Yorm. I should have done that. Uh, many things I should have done for this. I I I should have done Reinhard. I should have. Uh, I should have used. Like legit, I, I think I, I I think I should have gone in here with the one ultimate. Like, do we need Yorm? We probably would still be doing a like very considerable amount of damage without Yorm, and we would have four humans. Whatever. Whatever. If you're gonna farm this, you you're probably better off using Yorm anyways, because. Uh, more consistent. We have three stacks and thing, so one million. HP again, not that it matters because the damage cap is so low. Let's, uh, let's do this. One of these. I don't want to run use the Roxy card, but I do want to get the Yorm passive again. Oh, we don't need to use three elements for the Yorm passive, right? We just need to do three attacks with three different units, I believe. So let's actually do this Rudy's card. Then we go back to here. Uh, yeah. If I recall correctly, that's uh, that's all we have to do. We just have to use three different units. Sometimes I forget because uh, the Yorm relic or passive, whatever the the second buff part is, is so intercorrelated with the actual fight because you know she was made for this that. It gets me a little confused. Uh, let's go green. We okay. We did get an extra Roxy card. Let's watch this. Watch say blue, red. Green. I want to finish with Arthur. If we do the Arthur card now, I can't finish with him. Would it be nice to actually have done the Arthur's ultimate la last turn? Because then we would have come in here with the actual 20% stats too, but it's whatever. Uh, 
Yeah, we can finish with Arthur. Right? Because we do... No. We're gonna do too much damage, aren't we? Uh, ay ay ay. I think we do too much damage. Whatever. Uh, we do have another blue card, so that's phenomenal. I love this fight. Uh, we do another Arthur card. Yeah, whatever. We do too much damage. Ah, I hate, I hate this fight so much. Ah. We have taunt, so we'll be alright. We'll be alright. And Arthur did a bajillion damage right there, so. Even if. We have a buffer. Oh, we have a buffer move. Which one's the buffer move? It's this one. I'm not gonna check it, it's this one. No Roxy card, but doesn't matter. Arthur will just kill. Alright. Beer is done. Goodbye. Awful fight. Time for dogs. Dogs is at least fun. I can say what you can say whatever you want about dogs when it first came out, but now dogs is fun. Let me get a screenshot from the ending here. Yeah, this is a good scenario. This is gonna go to the thumbnail. I was thinking about rocking LR Askinor just for the lulls, because LR Askinor, I mean. He does stack the uh, the flames and stuff very nicely on these demonic beasts, but the one ultimate is just too good. The the second hit that he does is just too good. Let's do this. It might actually, it might actually kill this fight, this phase. I, if that crit, I probably would have killed this phase. Okay, Arthur did a little less damage than I expected. It, it's fine. I, it was like wasting a card. Okay, I was expecting a little more damage from the AoE, but I, I was just wasting a card because I don't want to waste this one. <laughs> and there's no way. I guess I could have saved the AoE for the last phase, but the last phase I'm just going to ult with our friend kill, so there's no point there. I'll do it right now, this AoE here, and then we will, we will kill, so... Yeah, now that we have the passive proc, it's a different story. After the first turn, Arthur, for the rest of the fight, becomes so much stronger. So much stronger. And now we also have uh, the attack buff from Tolnar as well, 35,000 attack. Like, 35,000 attack doesn't even matter that much. When you look at it, what really matters is the uh, HP, I think. It's a combination of both, for sure. But the HP increase... Because if you have a million HP, that's an extra 250k. Guaranteed. Like, that that should, with the way it's written, bypass defense. And bypass damage reduction, everything like that. It's just a guaranteed damage there. The one thing is, you know, I, I last time I ran this dog fight, I did it with Meliodas. And Melee cleanses a debuff every turn. Now that's good. Now being able to use Roxy though is really cool. Really, really nice and epic. Opposed to, you know, having to run... Who did I run with Melee? Was it Demon King? It was Demon King, right? Which was fine. But Roxy is uh, way cooler and more fun. So I would rather have... Uh, humans here than demons. For sure. Okay. Ignites are fine. Ignites are only a problem in this fight. If you're taking long. Which we won't, so. I Tonar can take. I forgot Tonar. Tonar can take a lot of damage in the first, you know, turn here. I wasn't worried, because, like, you know, I'm going to have Taunt after this, but in this first turn, she 
she can take a lot. Like, now she survived, but... Maybe I, sh I should've... Yeah, I should've put a Tarmel like, on her, still. I put it on Arthur, because... All the attacks, or the single targets at least, would be directed to him, but... Kolnar definitely could have used it better. Okay, I really need to heal with Tonar. <laughs> uh, we might unironically lose because of Tonar not getting any cards right here. Uh, I, I almost want to not even move on to the next phase. But I have to. Tonar, I'm, I'm going uh, to need you to get some cards, girl. I, I need to heal with you. At this point, we attacked her like what twice, so she she got some life still. Uh, um, no, her relic gives uh, HP related stats, right? So she got some life steal. So some attacks will. Please, oh my, we lost. And our first frozen. Okay, dude. Uh, I swapped to the card set that gives us 15% attack related stats uh, for using a full team of humans, hoping that this wouldn't happen. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to rerun this from the beginning. We're, Tonar is just dead, like, it, she might not die here. Well, she might actually die here, but... Even if she didn't die here, she would have died next phase. She needs, she needs Tarmia Link. We are back like we never left, baby. Alright, start off with the... Arthur was gonna get frozen again, wasn't he? Could have been the one, but... <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do this. I was gonna do the single target separately, but... This will increase all stats for all of our team by 20%. Uh, I don't recall what the increase is on that for like 1-6, because I'm pretty sure that that buff he gives to all allies is uh, increased with ult level. And on top of that, you know, the more ult level you do, if you have the buff, you also get another buff on top. You get damage reduction and increase. But like I said before on the 6-6 the six, six showcase, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's not as bad as <laughs> Liz or something, where if you don't have her 6-6, six, six, why even run her, you know? At least with Arthur, it's only a thing that affects his ult. Floor 3? Should be alright. Uh, we have <laughs> Tarmia Link on Tonar now, so we should be alright. Let's, uh... I'll pop that. Pop that card right there. Do some damage. Although, it's not really all that great to waste single targets before getting Tonar's attack buff, but it's whatever. It's fine. It is fine. Tonar getting the crits, now we can, boom, get that uh, a <laughs> Roxy passive proc, let's go. Yeah, obviously Arthur only getting the taunt. Okay, now she's getting attacked, but it's fine because she, she heals a lot. Arthur getting the taunt only at the beginning of the next turn makes so you know we are pretty defenseless in the first turn, but that's that's fine. Like he would be way too OP if especially in PvP. He started the battle if he went first and then immediately you have taunt and then the taunt just never leaves and he forever has taunt. It's like <laughs> okay. <laughs> that would just be unfun to play against. So I can see why they didn't go with that. Let's, uh, let's go with this. And... Arthur should kill with the AoEs. Uh, actually, do I save the AoE? I think I save... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think I'm gonna do this. And then... I'm gonna do the single target for Arthur here. And... Arthur's level 2 AoE. And ult will do a lot next turn. Perfect. Can we get another R for AoE as well? That'd be actually pretty nice. 
No. So how much is the AoE doing post ult here? And then we do uh What's what's your passive looking like? One. So Askener is gonna have it. Yeah, I'll do the Askener cards, because he does true hits. Do damage cap. Yeah, I'll do damage cap pretty much. It wasn't exactly damage cap, but it was pretty much damage cap. Yeah, Arthur's. <laughs> He's very good. <laughs> he is very good. Alright, now. Oh, I'm not looking forward to Snake. Oh, I am not. Are we doing live recording? I usually do post commentary for the Snake, but. I think we'll be fine. So, the team here. I I discussed it during Bird. You know, I was, I was figuring out what do I want to bring. And I came to the conclusion that this would probably be best. I, I love if I could use LR Askinor, because I think he would be more impactful than Light Askinor, to be honest, but obviously we can't, because we, there's no way we're beating this without Liz. Like, <laughs> there is no chance we're beating this with another human in Liz's place. It's just not going to happen. Liz would be big. We should be big carry. I think, I think Arthur is good enough that she won't be like big carry, but she will definitely be extremely helpful. Oh boy. Ouchie. Oh, that didn't even do that much. Yeah, we'll... After the point where we stack Yuri very nicely, uh, we we're in a good position. Obviously, Liz, when she gets attacked, uh, we don't actually stack or anything with Yuri, but... Because she only stacks for humans, right? But, you know, when he does the AoE, we do stack, so... Yeah, I, I didn't even put Tarm... So, I, maybe I'm, I'm learning from my mistakes from the last round. I'm not even putting a Tarm link on Arthur anymore. I put it on Yuri, because I was like, okay... Arthur does have the taunt, but... He is so tanky, and he can just heal so easily, because he does so much damage. That, what's the point of, uh, of having Tarm link on him, right? Put in a character that's a little worse. Maybe I should put on Liz. Hmm. But Liz will definitely only be in trouble per se. In the beginning of uh, the fight, like the first turn. After that, like we should be all right. And she, yeah, you know what? Maybe I should have actually. <laughs> it will be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. This fight is not even that hard. I mean. Liz definitely makes it way less troublesome than it was at launch. Do we have a stance removal? We do. We got two now, that's nice. Uh, I think I'll just go balls to the walls here. Yeah, whatever. First first floor is not that big of a deal. I'm just gonna remove the two stances and then go crazy on the Askinor single targets here. Yeah, I didn't want to bring Askinor, I'll be honest, but what, who else? Like, who else? I, I want to bring a, a third human. I'm not going to... I'm not going to bring Deanne or something. Like, what, why? I already have a taunt, you know? Like, who else is there other than Askinor? Melly? Again, I... If I'm not bringing three humans, I'm missing out on so much. Arthur being able to, you know, easily get his passive. Uh, Arthur's basic stab off, uh, also Yuri's basic stab off, and I'll, I'll just be missing out on so much. Let's uh, let's do this, and then this right here. I'm gonna have Arthur's ultimate for the next phase, which we'll is blast that. Uh, actually, oh, I should have saved. You know what? I should have saved those ultimates. It's fine. It's fine. First, first floor is easy. Should have saved it because then uh, I would easily get the the bar down with those uh, ults, but whatever. Should I be concerned? Nah. Nah. Yeah. yeah. We're good. We're good. We're good. 
This is not the floor I'm, con I'm concerned. The floor 3 is the one I'm more concerned about. Could you do this with Arthur without Yuri? Honestly, I don't think so. I don't think so. The stance removal is so clutch. Like, on top of what, you know, everybody else, everything else she's doing, right? Uh, I guess I'll do this, because I can't use the Liz card here. Cannot do that. This, this phase on floor 3 is one that I never know what to do, to like, go through it quickly. It's not that bad with obviously the team that's made for it, the goddess team, you can like one turn it so easily. But whenever I run like, you know, other teams, it's always so annoying. Okay, dude, Yuri makes... <laughs> this, this phase... Hits you so hard, even in floor 2, but Yuri makes it look like a joke. Uh, I need to save that stance removal, let's do this. Now that we have our first thing on, was it Chaos Domination, whatever it is. I am <laughs> so confident that we can't even die. Yuri passive plus Arthur. We can't even die. Alright. Easy buff removal next turn, of course. And then what? We need two stance removals, there, there we go. Yeah, we're, we're chilling. We're chilling. I'll attack first with Ascanor here. Then we do this. I'll waste this card, and then... I don't want to combine these. I'll waste the R for single target, honestly. I think I can... I, I want more space for Ascanor single targets. Obviously, R for is still a great hard hitter. But... Ascona hits twice. Like <laughs> that's what that's what I think, you know. Arthur hits really hard, but Ascona he just hits different. He also has HP defense. I didn't I didn't dare bring Ascanor with attack crit. Maybe I should have. Yeah, maybe I should would that be that big of a deal? Ascanor with attack crit? I think we would have been fine. And we would have had like a super hard hitter. We'll see. If Asker of HP defense ends up getting close to uh, getting us in trouble, then uh, we'll see. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't have a. Oh, I had. Okay. I didn't have the. Uh, the. Uh, the foresight to uh, cleanse there when we got sealed, but we can cleanse now. These these uh, defense lords, and all the offer defense lord. Mm. Do we? I think we do this. We ult, ult. I think we kill here now. Yeah, we should go for the kill here. I could have gone for another Liz ult by using the blue card, but I don't think it's needed. I do not think it's needed. Yeah, we have 30% damage reduction. Is it 30 or 50? I think it's 30. I should check. Uh, it doesn't say here. It, this is 50% damage reduction towards ults, but the ult passive... I have to check here. It is 30% of reduction, okay. Okay. We do this. I think I'll pop this ult, because this will uh, full stack Yuri's passive on him. And then... I mean, I'll just, I'll just pop cards now, and I'll cleanse at the end. I'll cleanse at the end. This will do enough damage, yeah. So long as we, we, we do enough damage to... I forgot what the threshold is. Is it 50% health? Listen, when I do this fight, I do it once when a character comes out, and I don't think about the fight ever again until the next character comes out. So, numbers for the phases specifically, I do not have just in my brain at all times. We cleanse again, I guess. And then we do some damage here with Arthur. 
and I'll keep the Liz card because we actually already are going to get another ultimate next turn. Arthur will do enough damage that we'll if it is under 50, we're already fine, but this... Yeah. Even Yuri is doing some damage here, okay. Okay. Yep. Easy floor 2. Now floor 3 is... Uh, no damage, cool. What I'm concerned about. That Yuri is so good. Obviously, Arthur, you know, with the taunt every single turn is also protecting us a lot, but like, <laughs> I'm looking here at Yuri and like, dude, she, she's making sure we survive here <laughs> with her passive, right? Uh, whatever, I'll just pop this. I'm gonna get alt gauge again anyway. To give us more damage reduction with Arthur's ult. Uh, we get 50% damage reduction towards ultimates, so he's gonna ult us, but like, we have the damage reduction from Yuri, and then we have 50% damage reduction from Arthur's ultimate buff here, and then we have a plus 30 from his ult pet. I didn't get for ult gauge with humans? Oh, because I'm using so many Liz cards. Yeah. I didn't even think of that being a possibility. <laughs> uh, whatever. Yeah, I didn't even think of that being a possibility, I'm not gonna lie. Do I attack twice with Liz just for uh, the sake of healing? Making sure she full heals? I guess I do. And then I'll ask her and Arthur will finish it off. Dang. Okay. Well, I gotta be more... More focused on that. Making sure that I, I never run out of taunt for Arthur. That, that, cannot, that can never happen. Alright, this is where boys become men. Honestly, like... <laughs> <laughs> this team might actually be really good for the new Demonic Beast, even though, you know, we don't have it, so I can make assumptions about it realistically, but... I mean, listen... If, uh... Yuri's passive can be applied, Arthur can just get infinite taunts... I mean... Come on, like... <laughs> infinite taunts is just so OP. Because the thing is, like, DM, right? You think red DM. That character is good. But, the moment you get unlucky and you cannot taunt with her, your team feels like it, 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 it's like, right now I can just lose. Right now. This moment, I can just lose. That, that, that feeling is not very realistic with Arthur. Like, it, I did mess up in the last phase, or I guess it was last phase, but la last, uh, last floor by not paying attention and just assuming I'm, I'm never going to run out of taunt, but I mean, that can just, that can just not happen if you just pay attention, right? With the end, or any other taunt character for that matter, you know, stands taunting, that can just happen because, you know, you just got unlucky. All right, I I hate this phase. Uh, do I just do I just skip to whenever I get rid of this phase? It can take so long. I genuinely just absolutely despise this phase. If I just push alts, I can probably get it done. I forgot. I forgot. despise this phase. Now I remember why I usually do post commentary. This fight <laughs> pisses me off, just the existence of this garbage event. Boss fight, whatever, just pisses me off. 
<sighs> Guess I'll go for the result here. Finish this whole rest of the fight without using a single stance removal? We definitely could. We have the DPS. It's like the, the whole gimmick here is that you know you, you don't want to use stance removal cards too much. Like you want it enough that you're taking away the I need one next turn though. You're taking away the damage reductions and everything like that. But the bar goes up, right? Uh, I I think we should use one more. We didn't have one. I don't. We don't. Uh, we have one. We have one with Liz, actually. Yeah, we we, we should use one more for the next. Uh, just to remove the next stance here. <laughs> Do we have to? I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. I'll do it. And then we get the Eskimo ultimate. Perfect. Huh? Isn't that a stance removal? Huh? I swear that was part of the LR. I guess I'm mixing it up with Green Liz. Did I swore? That was like part of the LR. That level 3 still removes that. Okay, well. Never mind, I guess. Okay. I, I was super convinced that was like part of the LR upgrade that she removes stance to level 3 there. Well, we need a stance removal, and uh, Yuri is not getting the cards, so... That's fantastic. She got one. I don't hate the second phase that as much as the first one. The first one is really just... Truly god awful. It's just long. Like, this fight is just long for no reason. Like, you just have a bunch of mechanics in there just to make the fight longer. I mean, there is a reason they want to sell characters, right? They want it, they want you to sell them for the the characters made for the fight, so the fight doesn't look that bad. But it is a terrible, 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 terrible fight. Uh, we kill, right? Kind of wanna. Uh, whatever. Don't like our hand for the next fight or the next phase, but why? Well, I thought that removed four. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I love, I love super, 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 super long fights for no reason. We're just sitting here while the boss takes no damage. Yeah. 
Yeah, this is why I don't <laughs> I don't make live commentary for this fight anymore. At the end, I'm just like, I don't want to talk, dude. I just want to... <laughs> I just want to end this, dude. It'd truly be like that. At the end of the fight, I'm just I'm just checked out. First two floors, it's not that bad. Third floor rolls around me, it's like okay. I have to do all these super specific and annoying shits that I kind of remember because you know I've done the fight so many times, but really, I'm just. Uh, Figuring out as I go, pretty much, because <laughs> I play JP. Unfortunately, I can't play Global, because Global is behind. So, I'm just like, okay, what does this boss does again? Oh yeah, he does this, right? He does this, right? I can't check, because the, the game is Japanese. But I think he does this, and then he doesn't do that, so... Love that. And I, I'm sure the next Demonic Beast is going to be even worse. They've just been stepping up. Every Demonic Beast that has come out, they learned how to make it worse and worse and worse every time. Which I love. It's really, really cool. Um, we can't remove Old Gauge, but we should be alright. Right? We should be alright. We should be... Should I... Hmm. Maybe I should have done another Yuri attack instead of this blue card for more damage. I forgot what the threshold here is. Arthur. Yeah. Can I get an Escadar card? That would be super helpful, man. Your stance removal goaded. Uh, the ult should do full damage, I think. So I'm just gonna make up more space for next turn. Really? I guess it is an AoE ult. Damn, I really thought that was gonna do like full damage. It's like the whole health bar. Yeah, we're done. I mean, <laughs> to be fair, it wasn't the easiest thing in the world. Oh, yeah. Right. It wasn't the easiest thing in the world. But it wasn't that hard. Right? Like, it... I beat it without um, having that many troubles. Was was this easier than the melee run? Did I lose in the melee run? Did I have to reset? I don't remember. It was, a, it was two months ago. I think this was easier than the melee run. But I've I've seen that a lot of people don't have Yuri. And if you don't have Yuri, this is not happening. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll ult the list first with, for the attack buff, I guess. Can we kill here? Without Yuri, this is not happening. You don't have any dupes on her. I got, the ult damage here is nice, but you don't have any dupes on her. You just need her passive, right? Uh, our first not killing. Okay. Without her damage reduction and extra stats, what have you, this would not be looking like this. We, we would not have taken this little damage. I'll tell you that. And stance removal as well is big. We would not be uh, as, in, as in much of good shape without Yuri here. But we do win. So, you know, 